Wimbledon, British government in talks about Russian players. Wimbledon organizers are having conversations with the British government about whether Russian tennis players, such as number one ranked Daniil Medvedev, should be allowed to compete at the tournament this year if they don't distance themselves from President Vladimir Putin because of his country's invasion of Ukraine. Speaking Tuesday to legislators in London about Wimbledon, British sports minister Nigel Huddleston said, absolutely nobody flying the flag for Russia should be allowed. Many of us would be willing and able to allow them to compete as non-aligned, non-flag-bearing entities. But I think it needs to go beyond that. We need some potential assurances that they are not supporters of Vladimir Putin and we are considering what requirements we may need to try and get some assurances along those lines. Asked by a member of parliament about any back and forth with the All England Club, which runs the Grass Court Grand Slam tournament, Huddleston replied, we are in discussions. The All England Club confirmed that discussions were ongoing with both UK government and tennis governing bodies. The seven groups that run the sport around the world have condemned the war, cancelled events in Russia and Belarus, which helped with the invasion, kicked those two nations out of the Billie Jean King Cup and Davis Cup team competitions, and announced on March 1 that players from those countries will be allowed to compete in WTA, ATP and Grand Slam tournaments but not under the name or flag of Russia or Belarus. Wimbledon's deadline for player entries is May 16. The tournament is scheduled to begin main draw play on June 27. Russia invaded Ukraine on February 24, which happened to be the day Medvedev was assured of moving atop the ATP rankings for the first time while competing at the Mexico Open.